Here's my review of the company Retrospect and how they scammed me out of nearly $400. So Retrospect is a company that refurbishes cameras. They claim that they buy SX-70s on eBay, they strip them apart, um, and they refurbish each part and they reassemble. That's what they claim. But that's not the actual case. That's not what they actually do. So let me get into this first. I wanted an SX-70 really badly. I, I wanted this camera. I, I, I wanted a, a, a portable Polaroid camera. I was fascinated by this, but I didn't want to get a camera off eBay. So here's the thing. Here's a quick little um, story about how the company practices. I buy a strap for this camera because in the picture it shows that this camera takes the strap. So I bought the strap for it. I get the strap. It doesn't take it. I read a disclaimer on the website that says the pictures may not be accurate to the product that you're buying. Okay. I go to return the strap. They say that there is going to be a restocking fee of 5%. This strap was $5. So the restocking fee on this strap was something like 75 cents. So I told them, I said, hey, if I bought this from your, uh, or no, it was $10, I think, the strap. So I said, I asked them, I, I said, if I bought this off your eBay store, would you, re would you charge me a restocking fee? Because I don't see one listed. They said, oh no. So I said, okay, great. So I should have bought from your eBay store. Here's another thing. So this camera, I buy it, right? And when you take a photo, it does not eject the film. This is a problem I had with this camera before. So what did I do? I contacted Retrospect and said, you know, I've been having a lot of issues with this camera. I shot one roll of film, it came out fine, uh, all eight photos. I go to shoot another one, and when I say fine, I mean some of the photos come out completely light leaked. Like there is light leaking on the sides of the photo. If light hits the camera in the right way, it completely destroys the, the photo. And from my understanding, speaking to people in the community, this is an issue with this camera, particularly my, mo my camera itself, not with the model. People can shoot with these all day and night and not have this problem. This isn't a problem with the person taking the photo. It's a problem with the camera. You can blame me. I'm sure some people will. If this video gets seen enough, they'll blame me for how I'm taking the photos. But you can't blame me for a camera malfunction. Did you hear that sound, that horrible scratching sound? That one was new to me. So anyway, it's having this problem, right? So I said, you know, I think I want to return the camera. I'm having a lot of issues with it. Photos aren't coming out that great. They go, oh, it's, it, first off, every email you send them, it takes them 24 hours to respond back to you. I have all the emails to prove this. So it takes 24 hours, right? And I'm in New York, so I'm, I'm, I'm shooting them an email before they open, and they'll shoot me another email like right before they close. Or they'll email me midday, and I'll respond, and they'll wait till the next day to, to, um, to come back to me. So they go, you missed your 14 day window. I, for some reason, thought it was 30 days. Like every other product I buy, I thought it was 30 days. They only give you 14 days. So I send it back to them. They spend two weeks with the camera. They never reach out to me. I reach out to them and say, hey, uh, are you guys almost done? Like, is this a, I, I, I don't ask in that way. I, I said, oh, is there any updates on this? Can I? Are you, is, is anything happening with this? And they go, oh yeah, it's fixed. We didn't actually have to do anything. We put new film into it like we told you to, and it worked fine. That's what they said to me. So what did I do? I got the camera back. I put the same old film that was having this issue back into the camera, and all of a sudden it started working again. So what does that tell you? They either did something to this camera, or for some reason this film that wasn't working before decided to start working again. So, um, I was frustrated to say the least. And now that it's having the same problem again, there's not much I can do. I can send it back to them and they can say, oh, it, um, it, 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 it's working now. Or, oh, you need to get new film. But these packs of film are about $20, right? So if I'm only going to get through half a roll, this said six shots left on it. Um, I got through less than half a roll with this, with this uh, set of film. How many times is this going to happen? So that means that I'm, I'm only getting half a roll out of this camera. 
something's not right. Something is not happening right. This camera was converted by them from the original um, film that's needed to take 600. So that way you could take um, camera, you could take photos in a little bit of a darker environment. It's easier to use indoor. Um, so basically, these guys, a couple things they do. They don't fully refurbish these cameras. If you're buying a radio or a cassette tape or like a, a Sony Walkman or something, it's the same deal. They buy them from eBay. They w they clean them up a little bit with some alcohol, and as long as they pass their their test, they just that's it. I assumed we were getting a full premium product. I assumed they were taking it apart, fixing it, and then selling it as almost a new old. Uh, refurbished product, but that's not the case. They're not doing that. They're simply taking them from eBay. They're cleaning them. They're selling them. They give you 14 days. If you try to reach out to their customer service, they will stall as much as possible to get past that 14 day mark. Then what they'll do is they'll say, oh, send it to us. They stall some more. They send it back to you. They basically just want you to get so frustrated that you kind of give up with it. Now there's a lot of positive reviews. And that's because a lot of the things like some, some of these cameras or Sony Walkmans or something like that, they hold up really well, even over time. Or they these people got a really good example. My case, this was a modded camera, modded by retrospect. I'm assuming that's why I'm having so many problems with it. If I had bought a regular SX-70 from them, it probably would have been fine. But here's the thing. Don't buy from their store. Buy from eBay. If you buy from eBay, even if it's from them, if you buy from them on their eBay store, you can go through eBay for a return. That's what I would have done. I would have explained to eBay, I've been on eBay for um, probably around 10 years now. I could have explained to eBay that these guys sold me a product that failed after an X amount of days. I'm having a lot of problems with reaching out to the company. And eBay would have stepped in and they would have given me a refund. But because I bought from their website, which looks great, uh, their, their website's very nice. That's what that's what brought me to it. Because I bought from their website and I thought I was getting the best SX SX70 on the market, I got completely fucked by these guys. They screwed me so bad. Don't please. If you made it this far in the video, I commend you because most people would probably would have turned off by now. Don't buy from these guys. Please, please, please. I I've re reached out to the company. I have written reviews and on Reddit, and they basically said, um, they the company responded and went, oh, we tried to come to a, a solution, but that's not true. The last email I sent them uh, complaining about their service and all the problems I've had, they just never responded to. If they had reached out to me on that last email and said, hey, you know, we understand you're having some problems. Um, we can't return the camera. We can attempt to try another repair. Um, I probably would have been like, okay, if you if you guys are really want to try this, can you make sure it works? Send it back to me. I'll be more than happy with it. I still have a warranty on this. I could easily send this back to them. I honestly, I should send it back to them just so they have to pay for the shipping. But I'm tired. I can't be bothered with it. I mean, when I when I bought this thing, the the viewfinder was popping out. I had to actually physically pop it back in. It has the light leak problem when it actually does shoot. It's a beautiful model, but they didn't make this camera. They bought it on fucking eBay and they resold it. So, I don't know, guys. I'm, I'm telling you. I, you know what? If I can save one person from spending $350, then it's, I'm, happy that I, that I'm happy that I took that from the company. Every cent I can take from that company, it's almost like a refund to me. So, if you saved money then my job is done. I didn't want to shoot this video today. Honestly, I, I want to get rid of this camera. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I can't sell it because it, it's barely working, even though I spent $350 and I spent another $100 on a flash, which works great from another company. So I spent about $450 on everything, $450 on my whole package, not including the camera strap that I can't return um, or... Um, I think I had a bag or something like that. So I spent almost $500 on, on this, on this. This is a paperweight. This is literally a paperweight. So, um, yeah, I, I, I got ripped off. I got ripped off really bad. And it's, it's been a long time since I've been ripped off like this. Um, it's been a long time since I've been ripped off like this. 
I have a little bit more of a sense of humor about this because um, I bought this at the start of the pandemic to take more photos. Um, so I've been through this, you know, I, I, I've, I've had time for this to kind of acute, like kind of, kind of, I've had time to think about this and think how horrible these people are in their practices. So please, I'm just really, really thankful that I have YouTube as a platform to kind of go out and say how, how shitty these people are. Hopefully this video helps somebody. Please, my number one, my number one goal is to stop you from buying from these guys. To stop you from giving these guys any money. I think, you know what I might do with this? I, I think I've come to a conclusion. I'm going to put this in a box somewhere and just pretend it never happened. I, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm kind of actually tempted just to throw it away. So I don't have to think about it anymore. And just chalk the lo loss up to, uh, I don't know, to a... Uh, 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 I, I don't know. I've never been scammed out of... I haven't been scammed out of that much money before. Um, but yeah, I, I I believed in these people and I bought this camera from them and I trust me, I regret it. Uh, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, um, I'll probably see them below. If I have a lot of questions, which I doubt I'm going to have, I, I don't know. I don't think this video is going to be very popular. Um, I will... Um, I'll make another video to, to go into more detail. I have all the emails to back up everything.